LC Green, welcome to Gumbo Live. We're here on 431 North, right across from the airport. There's a building that's been sitting here and everybody's been wondering what it's all about. We're here at the Lamar Civic Center and we have somebody that can answer all of our questions. Uh, uh, based on my investigative reporting and friends like Jerome, I found somebody that can answer all of our questions about the Lamar Civic Center. Uh, uh, we're going to go inside now and talk to Ms. Forte and she's going to answer all of our questions concerning the Lamar Civic Center here in uh, Eufaula. Ms. Forte, thank you first of all for agreeing to be on Gumbo Live. Welcome. LC Green. Nice to meet you. That's my cameraman Mark. Hello Mark. And th there's a lot of questions that only you can answer. Okay. And I, I, I just told my listening audience that Based on my investigative reporting, I found somebody who can tell us about the Lamar Civic Center sitting here in Eufaula on 431 North, right across from, from the airport. So if you want to fly in on your private jet, you can just fly in and come right across Absolutely. the street. So, so first of all, I thank you again for, l l let's do two things first. First of all, let's tell our uh, listening audience uh, who you are and then uh, tell us about the name and you, you agreed to give us a tour of this place? Yes. We're looking forward to that. We're looking yes. forward to that because just, just looking around so far, uh, we're looking forward to the tour and we thank mm -hmm. you for taking your time to do that too. And, and, and I know this, I know this from my investigative reporting. Okay. You also are a motiva motivation speaker and a gospel. Uh, artist and you got you got some CDs out yes. and you just got one that you just released. Yes. I've been doing Last my, month. I've been doing my work now. <laughs> I see and, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we so so we're looking we're looking forward to talk about the CDs also. Mm -hmm. But but let, let first of all uh I, I did I did I didn't do a whole lot of investigation of who you are so you can tell us who you are and your connection to you follow. Okay. And and we, 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 we thank you for this place. We're looking forward to, and you might be able to tell us, maybe during the tour or whatever you so desire, or give us an a idea of when we're going to be able to come in here and, and, and do something. All right? Okay. okay. Well, my name is Coralfi Forte, and I grew up here in Eufaula, Alabama, in the Rocky Mountain community. Uh, my parents were Preston and Annie Lou, and at the time, everybody called us Fort. And you know, when you go to the city, you change, you put the little accent mark on it, right. it becomes Forte. <laughs> yeah. You think it's sophisticated. How'd you well, go? We grew up as Fort. Okay. <laughs> and there's still a few Forts that are here in the um, in Eufaula. You know, a lot of the names have changed. You know, we had a lot of women in the family. So now that names are changed to whoever they married, married. And you really don't know who the Fortes are unless you're connected and you've been in the Eufaula mm -hmm. area for mm -hmm. quite a while. And you're from the Rocky Mountain area? Rocky Mountain community. Okay. Yes. Say, say your first name again. Coralfi. For us Louisiana folks. Coralfi. But when I grew up here, everybody called me Kathy. Okay. I don't know how they got Kathy out of Coralfi, but... Well, I can tell you. <laughs> when, I come home, when I come home and I hear people say, hey, Kathy, and I have to look around, you know, are they talking to me? Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, so yeah. When I, I grew up here, it was Kathy, and I graduated from Rebecca Comer High School, okay. where uh, Miss McDonald Comer was the principal. Okay. And uh, I also attended first grade at Clayton. It was Clayton High School at the time. And then when I graduated from Rebecca Coma High School, I went to uh, Tuskegee University. All right. So I'm a Tuskegee graduate, and I left Eufaula in 1985. Okay. Um, I got married, left, went to the D.C. area, went to Howard University, and I've been in the D.C. area in Alexandria, Virginia ever since. But okay. I come back home as often as I can because I see a need here. Okay. And I was one of the fortunate ones that was able to leave to go and better myself because that's what my parents instilled in us. They say you have to leave, you fall to better yourself mm -hmm. because we grew up on a farm, mm -hmm. air property. Let, 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 me, let me say something to you, Ms. Forte. Mm -hmm. And I, I, want, I want to issue you a great challenge that, okay. I, that I always issue myself. Leave, better yourself, come back here, Mm -hmm. and teach us how we can better ourselves mm -hmm. so that we won't have to leave. Mm -hmm. See, don't leave, mm -hmm. better yourself, mm -hmm. come back here and share that with us mm -hmm. so that we won't have to leave you for all to, mm -hmm. to better ourselves. Mm -hmm. you're, you're right on point with okay. that. Okay, all right. And uh, my thoughts regarding that, and these have been my thoughts for quite a while now, is that you know, we don't want people to leave you follow, but we want to be able to bring experts to you follow. So I have a lot of connections in the Virginia area and DC that are willing to come here 
you know, and give of their time and give of their service to help the citizens of Eufaula because this area has a very high unemployment rate. Right. Just right. about every, you know, four people out of five that I talk to, they're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to boost the economy. We're going to have to bring business in here. We, we need to get industry back. We need to get manufacturing back. Um, a lot of my friends, their children, they graduate from college and they have to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these kids, they really want to stay here in sure. Paula. I was talking to my niece last night. She's, um, she's a senior at Troy University and she was kind of coming up with a plan, sharing it with me. And she said, you know what, Auntie? She said, I just wish you follow was bigger. Mm -hmm. I just wish you follow was bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, you follow land wise can't expand, but in terms of uh, abilities, you know, creating jobs, that can always expand. Sure. But we have to do the work. Sure. See what it is, a lot of people don't want to do the work. Yeah. But we have to start doing the work from the top down and help a lot of people who maybe readily can't help themselves. You know, I've always been a very generous person because I believe that if God blesses me, he blesses right. me to bless somebody that, else. That's exactly right. And that's a chain reaction. Right. That's what right. we want to see is that chain reaction right. happen here. And once we see that chain reaction happen here, mm -hmm. you'll be surprised at what will be in store for you, Paula. We thank you for sharing your excitement. We could hear the mm -hmm. excitement in your voice. Yes. Now, curiosity is getting the best of me now. <laughs> Why Lamar Civic Center? What, what, what did that name? Is that, is that anything Pacific? I mean. Yes, it's my mother's mate name and her brother. Um, my mother had one brother and his name was Moses Lamar. And uh, when my mother was three and my uncle was five, they lost their mother and the father somewhat abandoned them. So they were raised by their aunt. And the aunt brought them to Eufaula. And um, so my mother and her uh, brother, they grew up here. And, and uh, actually they were over in Zion Hill. They were over in Zion Hill and when my mother and my father got married, then my mother came to Rocky Mount. So my uncle and mother, their roots are in Zion Hill. Zion Hill. Zion Hill community. And um, when my mother married my father, you know, he had lots of brothers, lots of uncles. They were all landowners out in the Rocky Mount community. And my mother was, you know, she just came to the area, didn't really know anybody or anything. And she just always felt alone. Mm. And when her brother left, he left Eufaula because, you know, it was difficult to get um, a job here. Um, you know, there was different things going on in the South at the time. So he left and headed to New York and he never came back. So my mother, she was just always sad in her heart mm -hmm, that her mm -hmm. brother left her. You know, she, mm, she, wasn't, mm, she didn't have mm. a mother, she didn't have a father, she just had the brother and he left and never came back to Eufaula. So it was like for years she cried and I didn't understand why she was always crying. And as we grew up, she always told us that we favored our father's side of the family more, more so than, her, than side. her side of mm, the family. Mm, mm. So when my mother passed away in 1985, um, I had just graduated from college, from Tuskegee. And, you know, I was just beginning to really understand life. And as I continued to go, grow older and understand life, I could kind of understand what she was going through in her heart. And I said, Either, even though my mother is gone, I still want to be able to do something that would make her proud. So that's how the name Lamar Civic Center came about. That's her mate name. Okay. And my, my mother's brother. My mother's brother went on, when he left and went to New York, uh, he started singing. And he went to, he was in the uh, original Gershwin's uh, Porgy and Bess. He had a major role in there. Really? Uh, he was in Three's Company, uh, uh, Lost in the Stars. He was a, a big singer in the 50s. Okay. And then he went on to um, do boxing with uh, Joe Frazier. Uh, I have pictures of him that will be here in the facility. Okay, with, that, that uh, was my next question. I have tons of pictures that will be here with him, with Sammy Davis Jr., Sophia Loren, Humphrey Bogart. You know, so he was, he was, he really made a big name for himself. Okay. And when my mother was diagnosed with cancer in 83, um, and we knew that it was terminal, we asked her about her brother. And he was in Switzerland at the time. She hadn't seen him since he left. And she said, you know what? She said, um, don't even let him know that I'm just, that, you know, when I'm gone. 
and you know I still couldn't understand that but it was such a struggle for me losing my mother at that time because I was just beginning to be an adult to, to relate to some of the things that she was going through so uh, my oldest sister she found a number for him and she told called my uncle in Switzerland and told him that his sister had passed and my uncle passed two weeks later mm, look look we, we got we got man you got some kind of story I have a book no, that's going to, I have a book that's going to be coming out and I also have a autobiography that's going to be coming out I'm also doing their life story that's going to be a stage play okay so I have I have a lot of plans so, I don't get much sleep so so gumbo live can look forward to you coming back on this program mm -hmm. to share your book mm -hmm. the play mm -hmm. you, you may want to write in a you know a little part in I there give you a plug. <laughs> You know, you, you know, you know, you may want to, you know, write a little something in there. So, 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 so now, so now, now we understand uh, why the Lamar Civic Center is named the Lamar Civic Center. And that's a, that's a great honor. Mm -hmm. And your mother would be proud mm -hmm. because there's no way you can pass on 431 going or coming and not see the Lamar Civic Center here in Eufaula. Right across from the airport, that's the old uh, state trooper office over there, mm -hmm. and and so it, it, it's 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 in a spot. It's in a it's spot. It's in a spot where she will she will always be, mm -hmm. and and for all of us who was wondering why, now we know. Mm -hmm. Now now now, Miss Forte, is uh, uh, you ready to give us a tour of this sure. of this facility? I'm ready. And and as we go through here, you can you. You can you can you know tell us you know what, what what's going to be. L let's start off by doing this. Let's start off by doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, you told me it was still under construction, and yeah. we see that some work still going on. What 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 can we look for for a grand opening uh, time wise? When 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 do we we put, when, I want to come here and I want to have a I want to have a service. Mm -hmm. I want to come here and preach. Well, I, last night I was envisioning the seven last sands next year, right here. <laughs> right here, all right, all right. Right here, all right. so many people where we'll be outside because this is on seven acres of land, so we can move whatever we have going okay. on outside. Okay, all right, seven acres. <laughs> it's all on right. seven acres, okay. and uh, you okay. know, so we have plenty of room to expand. Okay, all right. And uh, you had mentioned earlier about nobody can go up and down uh, 431 without seeing the building. Mm. You know, it's funny you should say that because when the letters went up at first, they were so huge. <laughs> and everybody was saying, why are the letters so huge? I didn't even plan for them to be that right, big. Right, right. But that's how they came out. And I said, well, you know what? I don't do anything small. Yeah. I said, so <laughs> those letters are big and don't nobody miss it. It's like a billboard. Right, said, that's, that, right. that's the that's way right. God wants it. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> Amen. so now, 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 opening. Yes. I am praying. Okay. I am praying and fasting that we will be open at the end of the year so we can have New Year's service here. I would love to have my birthday party here. My birthday is New Year's Day. Oh. So I would love to have my birthday party here in January. All all of the all of the listeners and we got a good we got a good viewership here now. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to begin to pray. My birthday is in January too. Okay. So let's you all No no uh, 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 what you call that thing? <laughs> Uh, what I am? Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, and I, I know that because somebody told me. <laughs> so I, I want all of I want all of us begin to pray that we can be here in uh, New Year's, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do all we can to help. We're gonna get the word out, whatever we need to do to help to make to and make we can this use come everybody's through. support. All right. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll yeah. talk yeah. about Even if that. It's just prayer. We can use okay. your support of prayer. All right. We we'll talk about that now. We are standing where? Where are we standing This now? is the main entrance. This is the lobby. Over to the right. Uh, over to the right is the, uh, would be the sitting area. And also I have the murals of my mother and her okay. brother. Okay. It's hand painted. Okay. For those of you who may not know, I come in this door. It's the main entrance. Yes. So to my right, you said when I walk in, it's going to be a seating area. Seating area. And that's going to be the, the, the mirror of, of your mother brother. and her brother. Okay. And her brother. All and right. All the way over here to the left is the gift shop. Okay. So we'll have the books. Uh, we'll have videos. We'll have uh, other items. Like if you have a birthday party here and you didn't bring a gift, you can go in the gift shop okay. and pick up a gift. And, and we'll be able to get your book. You'll be able to get my books, my CDs. CDs, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. And, and, and later on, we're going to talk about your book and okay. the CD and 
your publisher and your producer and all that for for your CD. But now we are going to we're going to entertain. Now th this is a large area here. Mm -hmm. This is a large area when we we'll come in. We also have here the the receptionist area here. You know, so when you come in, if you need information, we'll have someone here. If we have an event here, then we'll have security guard here mm -hmm. for the event. Okay. So now now. now <coughs> When, when we fully function, mm -hmm. how, how estimate, this kind of roughly, how many people, how many of you follow folks are we going to employ when we get fully function? Um, well, if we're full, we want to have people that are uh, on staff permanently, you know, in the offices that we have over to the right. But we're also going to have people that uh, work part time as servers, depending on the events. So the more events we have, the more people we can employ. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna employ you follow folks. You follow folks. All right. You follow first. You follow first. <laughs> All right. Y'all heard that. You follow okay. first. Now you talked about the offices. Mm -hmm. So we we're gonna go towards the the offices if we can get more. Go towards the offices, or we can go straight down here where some of the rental rooms. You are. tell us where you want us to go. Let's go straight this way. All right. So we, we walk in the door. We walk into the main entrance. All right, and we are following Miss Forte. We are coming into the main entrance. And we are going to the event room. Left side here. The left side here is one of the smaller rooms that you can rent. Okay. You can rent it for a birthday party. You can rent it for a workshop. You can rent it for uh, a meeting if you need to have a board meeting. Okay. You can re rent this room okay. here. Okay. So, so, so let, 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 let's, let's, you know what I try to do, Ms. Forte, I try to be very, very simple. Mm -hmm. So we, we, if somebody wants to come in here, we don't have to rent the whole place. No, you do not. You can just rent what you need. You rent what you need. Just the space that you need. Just the space that so you need. So if I want to come in here and have a Bible study, mm -hmm. I, can, I can rent just this room. You can rent just this room, and when you come to plan your event, you would meet with the event planner, and then she'll be able to design on computer how your room needs to be set up. So when you come for your event, the room is set up based on what your needs are. All I got to do is come tell you what I need, mm -hmm. no, tell you what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And when I walk in, mm -hmm. it's going to be already set up for me set to meet my you. needs. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. And once again, the, the, inf the, part, the part that I like to emphasize to all of us is that we can rent what we need, mm -hmm. only what we need. We don't have to worry about trying to get the whole whole place. No, you don't. All right. All right. Okay. So this is one of the rooms. This is, and, and, and how many... How many can we put in here? You can put 75 people in here if it's just uh, seats. Okay. Uh, or we could do 35 if it's a huge table. Okay. Or we can do 50 if you have smaller, uh, like the rectangle chairs with tables around. Okay. So if I'm coming and all I need is a podium and chairs, I'm, I'm doing Bible study, mm -hmm. I could put... How many? You will be able to put 50. 50 folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I have 50 folks at Bible and if study. You're getting, if you're having a wedding and you want your, this to be your groom staging area or your bride staging area, okay. you can use it for that as well. Okay. And then we also have another room that's equal size. Now we're coming right across the street. These right rooms across are right, the right, right across the hallway from each other. Right. Now, and all the rooms have names. We just haven't finalized the name, but the, the names of the rooms are, are based on my mother's relatives. Like uh, we have the Seymour room. Okay. My mother's uh, grandfather's last name was Seymour. Mm -hmm. Now, are these rooms all the same size? This one and the, the first room we looked at okay. are the same size. It looks this this room for some reason looked larger than that. It does look a little bit larger. Yeah. And once I came in, I was like, okay, now this room looks a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is has a little more footage in it. But okay. uh, this room here serves basically the same type of functions that the other one was. Let me ask you this. And I'm serious as a heart attack. Okay. Uh, have all your rooms already been dedicated? If somebody, if I wanted to have me a, a, a gumbo room, could I, could I purchase a, a, a room? Are your rooms? Are you going to just strict, strictly keep it to family? You already got that. Or did that oh, cross you your mean mind? The names. Yeah, yeah, the names oh, of the room. <laughs> can I? The names, the names. I mean, whatever your event is, and whenever you have an event, we would put on the outside right. of the room. Right. I know and that. We have on the marquee. Right. The name I, of the room I, I, I know that. I know that. But the the rooms they carry a name based on a certain significance. Okay. As well as with the name of the building okay. itself. Okay. All right. You answered yeah. my question. You okay. Are, you answered my question. <laughs> you answered my question. All right. Which way you want to go now? Okay. We got to back out right here. All right. We backing up. We back in the hallway. Yeah. Uh, and, to, and to my left, I, I just want to give everybody, keep everybody orientated to where we are. To my left is still the main entrance. That's, that's, that's what we come. Right. 
So when we come in, you don't have very far to go before you be into one of these rooms. Right. So, so you know, your folks ain't got to have no map to try to find where they're going. You don't have to have a map. We're going to have a marquee out there that has the room names and the directions. Okay. So when you first come through the door, you can either come straight ahead or you can go to the left or right. Okay. All so right. People need to know in what direction to go based on the event. Right. Okay. All right. And, and that, that would be made easy. All right. Now. Well, where, where are you now? Okay, now we're in the small conference uh, banquet room. Okay. And this room here can hold up to uh, 225, depending upon the seating. Okay. The seating type that you have. You okay. might want to have uh, a wedding in here and just have chairs. And if you, you want to do that, because most weddings, you just have the, um, the, the bride is staged at the... Um, what do you call it? The, uh, mm -hmm. the little arch that you stand at. Well, you don't see that that much anymore. It's, but it's been 40, it's been 40, <laughs> for, what, 43 years? My wife watching this. Yeah, it's been 43 years. I got it, babe. 43 <laughs> years. So, uh, you know, when you start talking about this and that about the wedding. So, you can set the room up that way and then just have the chairs out, mm -hmm. you know, in theater style. But if you have a different type of an event, you know, you want to have a larger type of training in which this is the room that I envision having training classes in okay. for the citizens here you follow how to start their own business how to do business with the government um, uh, job skills you know mm -hmm. workforce okay support. and still and still we still read by the main interest, the main interest. and, and we, so everybody is, and, and I, I think that's important mm -hmm. and the reason why I think that's important because you know I, I travel all the time and most of the time you walk into these these auditoriums and uh, civic centers and you're intimidated by the size of it mm -hmm. and wondering if I can find my way around mm -hmm. but so far this place is laid out so easy that even I can find my way around <laughs> you know and, and I think that's important for our listeners and those who are who, 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 who wait into the first of the year to come here mm -hmm. everything is laid out so where are we going now where you want to go okay now we're going to so 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 there's no there's no there's no place in here that's not connected to where, wherever we might be. Right. Okay. All right. So we leaving we leaving here now, and we going to the right. We going to the right up here. Okay. Okay, Miss Forte. Okay, she's taking us to the offices. But now let me tell you what I've noticed. What I've noticed where she's taking us. If we came into the main entrance and went to our right, we would be right there. Everything is laid out. Everything is laid out. Everything is laid out. I need to have you do our seating. Well, <laughs> I think that's so important. <laughs> and as I pass, as I pass, Miss Forte, I see some restrooms. Yes. Uh, and yes, those are going to be the employee restrooms. Okay. We'll have a staff that's here um, all during the day into the evenings when we close during the week, which will probably be around uh, 9 o'clock. Okay. But on the weekend, uh, we will be open to probably 1. Okay. Uh, just depending upon the event and, right. and what you rent. Okay. Okay. Now we're back. We're back now into the main entrance. Mm -hmm. We're back. In, and that's, that's another one of the things that, that the reason I mentioned the bathroom, that's another one of the things that normally we, we irritate ourselves to. As soon as we get somewhere, I know I do. And, and yeah, I do too. And uh, I, I blame it on my diabetes, but you know I got a little age there too. <laughs> so it's one of the things. So now, so now, so now, let, let's do this. I, I know you want to show us something, but since we're back into the main entrance now, we're back into the main entrance. Mm -hmm. How far would I have to go once I walk in those doors to the public? Now you said this bathrooms are for your staff. Mm -hmm and the staff only mm -hmm. okay and uh i'm not i'm not staff okay so how, how far would i have to go not far at all you okay. just go down this hallway and make a right and you'll be at the uh public bathroom okay mm -hmm. okay all right so so still still the beauty of this is still everything is laid out so well that you're not far from everywhere so we're not far from the bathroom just follow the yellow brick road all right all right the yeah. corridor is here all right the that, corridor leads you wherever you want to go all right very good thank you for that and we'll have a little fireplace over here and this is where we're going to have the uh, hand painted portraits of moses and annie lamar we'll okay all right all right all right now we'll, so we'll come down the hallway now we're going down the yellow, the yellow big road <laughs> We have an office here. This is an office. And all of the offices will hold two people. Okay, and this is all staff offices. Staff this, offices. This is not rental office. They're not rental office. Okay, all right. So if somebody wants to rent an office to be out we here. We have one. Okay, all right. All right, you can this show us that. another staff office. 
office. Okay, this is staff office. This, these are the two rooms we just left out to my left. Right. We just left out of those rooms, so everything is convenient. Right, and then we have another office here. Oh, uh, this is another office. Mm -hmm. Now, now we ain't got to the run office yet. Somebody want to run an office to we're, be here permanent. We're about two doors down. All right, all right. And this is the women's bathroom for the employees. Very nice. Get a, get a, can, can you shoot that, Mark, when you get there? I just want people to see the, uh, uh, the fixtures in there. The fixtures are very nice, very nice. The flooring is beautiful. I mean, this, this is something that wasn't just thrown together. No, I can't and, do uh, that. <laughs> and I think people would appreciate that. Yes. And yes. this is going to be the men's That's staff. the men's uh, staff. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I got a secret. I got a secret. As good as these look, I've already seen the public. Yes. And it, it is nice. It, it, it is nice. All right. Now, what we have here to the right. Well, now, um... That's the VIP suite here, okay. and I'm going to bring you back to that because it's going to take you into the ballroom. Okay, all right, all right. So you asked about the office that you can rent if you wanted to rent an office. Right. You can rent this office right here. Okay. So this will be one of the offices that's available for rent. Okay. Uh, like in the city, a lot of people have um, small businesses, and right. businesses are in their home, and they're looking right. to rent a suite. Right. You know, for a small meeting or right. to stage themselves as though they have an office. Right. This office here would be for that person. Okay. All right. And still, when we walk out this door, you can go right back right to the back. corridor here. You're back out front. All right. Very good. And what we have now, I just sort of Where you walk taking? around Mark here. Okay. This is the men's bathroom. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go in there, Mark. Let's go in here. Let's go in here. I, I want I want I want everybody to see this. And you can see that this is still under construction. We That's all right. We the mirrors put up here and the uh, the faucets put into the sink. Um, I want everybody to see how nice this. This is, I mean, normally, normally a men's bathroom, they don't take as much time to make it as presentable as this would be. I pay attention to every single detail. Well, and, and, and I'm the queen of color swatches and all right. blending colors. And, and uh, we, we appreciate <laughs> and all that. Of that. All of that. Uh, so, uh, you know, men. when the men come in, I want them to feel good too. All right. Yeah, we're going to have mirrors in here for you to look at yourself, make oh. sure everything is tough. <laughs> You know. Very good, very good, very, and we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Mo, 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 most public places like this, when when when, if you get a chance to to go to the different uh, rooms, the, normally the ladies' rooms are always laid out real nice and mm -hmm. look like somebody took some time and concern, mm -hmm. and look like whatever was left, they just threw it in the men's room. We didn't do that. But no, even, no. Even over here on this side, we have some stuff stored in here, but you know. If you have any type of disability, right, right, oh yeah, we have a little sofa over here for you. Very roomy, very it's roomy. Very, a lot of room. Right, your hands over here. You know, very good. So. Yes. All right, and it's and it's again, it's close. You don't have to, you, you don't have to crowd yourself. Right. You right. don't have to get in a rush. And all of our areas are going to be labeled. Okay. So you'll know exactly, you know, you won't make a mistake and go into the uh, women's bathroom. <laughs> right, right. That's very embarrassing. <laughs> oh, so now, so now. We, we're going down the, uh, is this the main hall or what we're going to call this? This is the main hall that just goes from the front all, all the way, the way around. takes you back to the front again. All right, so this place where we are now, when you walk out the bathroom, you can go left and go back out, mm -hmm. or you can come to your right mm -hmm. and go all the way around. Mm -hmm. It all depends on how much energy you got, how much you want to walk. <laughs> right, and I'm going to show you the women's uh, bathroom, and then we're going to go back to the, uh, to the main lower level ballroom. All right, all right. So we continue going down the hallway here. We already have the water fountains in. Sure, sure, um, sure. Fire extinguishers are going to go in here. Right. Got to have those. Got to have those. Got to be cold. All and right. And then uh, when you come in here, we have the women's bathroom. I, I want you to notice as we walk how much room is in here. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yes. I want you to notice how much room is in here before when you first walk in. There's nothing but room. And then when you get over here, it's room. And then the handicap. The handicap or stalls are very yeah. roomy. You can yeah. you can bring yeah. your wheelchair. Yeah, and we we'll even have a sofa here if you need to just sit down and take a break before leaving out. We have room for that. And if you notice, uh, Brother Green, the only difference in between, you were talking about how nice the men's bathroom uh -huh. The only difference is that we don't have urinals over here. Well, yeah. That's the only difference. <laughs> yeah. The only difference. Yeah. Yeah, I know the women appreciate that. <laughs> But but it, it, it is it is stylish and it is beautiful and it's roomy mm -hmm. with your walker, your wheelchair, whatever. And it's the same men, she didn't cut us short. She got she us looking short at all. Got this us looking is where well. the uh, hand dryers are going here. Okay. And then we'll have mirrors along the wall over here so you can see yourself as you're walking out. All right. 
And again, again, I keep emphasizing this because it's so important. It's close. It's, it's, it's close. We don't have to, you don't have to get in a jam. It's very close mm -hmm. to everything. Uh, and we're going to go back now over by the uh, employee bathroom to where the VIP suite is. Okay. And then we're going to work our way down into the lower level bar. Okay. Now why we call it the VIP suite? Because this room here is for anyone who's coming to perform. Okay. Uh, if you are a bride, okay. this will be your suite that you can rent. And when I come to preach? When you come to preach, you here. this room here, your VIP then. Ooh, ooh. And you're not coming to just attend an event, but you're coming to, to perform. You right. want to be the main attraction. Oh, okay. So whoever's the main attraction, they're in here. And if Mark come with me as my cameraman, he can come in here too? You can let Mark in here. Oh. <laughs> You want to make sure he's straight before he turn that camera on. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So you can come through the corridor here. All right. Come out to the lower level ballroom. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, very good. Yes, now we walking right out of the VIP suite. suite. The now we're on the stage. Now we on the, now you got to do something now. And now this room here is already named as the Kindle room. The Kindle? The Kindle room. And the reason and this is the only room that has a name that's not related to my mother. Okay. And the reason why this is called a Kindle room is because a good friend of mine who was my who has been my financial advisor since I started my business in Virginia. And his okay. name is Greg Kindle. Okay. And Greg Kindle had a uh, a massive stroke about six years ago okay and he was not expected to live oh and he was the one that encouraged me to do this to do this all right he was the one that figured out a way for me to get it going 12 years ago all right and uh you know now he's uh in a wheelchair he can't move and uh you know all he talks about is is being able to make it here for the grand opening he, so we, this room here is named in honor of him the kindle room okay so we'll get him here mm -hmm. and, and mark can you can you can you stand on the stage and shoot out that way so they can see so they can see the room and and from what you told me earlier there's already a large room mm -hmm. but you're going to even make it larger we're going to make it larger we're going to take this wall out here and expand over to the right mm -hmm. and because what we want to do is get the room the size of this room here back to what it was before we had to give up uh, uh, probably two thirds of it to the bathroom. Okay. All right. Now, now, as as we as we stand right now, looking out, looking out, uh, what what could, how many people could we bring in here right now? Uh, right now, you can bring in if you just have uh, theater style seating, which is just the seats only. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can bring in um, three twenty five. Okay. Uh, if you do tables, uh, round tables, we can do two fifty. If you do rectangle tables, we can do uh, between 250 and 275, depending on how close to the stage they okay, are. Okay, all right, all right. And once we expand this room, we're going to have a portable stage that can connect to this so that we can like have a runway, a bigger band, bigger okay. performance. Okay, all right, know. all right. If we have, and you know, we got musical <laughs> dancers now, we got people doing all kinds of things on stage. So we want them to have enough room to do that. Right. And then have enough room in the room. Now, now what, what about, what about, Lighting. There's gonna be special lighting already here, or sometime we go play. Got to bring our own lighting, and mm -hmm. and especially when we film, and we we, we 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 don't. So do, is the plan to have a, a lighting, your own special lighting here, and the sound system, quite naturally. Yes, we'll provide all of that for an additional cost. Okay. Into the cost of the room to rent. We have a, um, a company that we're working with in Dothan that has already been here and given us estimates on what we need to do. And that's another reason why the ceiling isn't closing because okay. there's a lot of wiring that we have to put in <coughs> based, on, based on what it is that we want to be able to do here and what we want to be able to afford. Okay. My, my business in um, Virginia is technical solutions and maintenance. So we do high tech recommendations. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to provide to you, Paula, a way of broadcasting, streaming, okay. you know, events live. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can rent equipment from us, cameras from us, uh, audio equipment from us. Okay. Now let's work our way back for, mm -hmm. for part number two of Gumbo Live when we're going to actually sit down with you and, and talk to you. We... Uh, is it anything particularly else you want to show us about this place? Or uh, it's very, uh, very impressive. It's very <laughs> impressive so far. Well, you have to, you have to go down the, uh, and I call it the, uh, the airplane runway. Okay. So you have to go down the airplane, airplane runway. Okay. 
specifically designed to make the whole facility handicap accessible. Okay, oh yes, that yes. one of the problems we ran into at first when this whole building was two levels, was that we couldn't make the upstairs handicap accessible. We would have to have, because the one <laughs> building wasn't high enough, but because this building was a place that sold um, uh, farming equipment, there was a lot of shelves. There was just shelves everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then upstairs was a bathroom and a, um, uh, a bathroom and a large conference room. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to keep that upstairs, but now looking back, I'm so glad that we didn't. So this, this, this was a two level place at one time? It was two levels. Okay. It was okay. two levels and the ceiling is not high enough to support two levels. You probably would have been squatting this whole Oh floor, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if we had kept it two levels. Okay. But this this area here, this is what we call the, the, the Okay. Now now look runway. Look, I can I can look to my left mm -hmm. and I can see the main entrance. Right. Mm -hmm. I can see the main entrance. Mm -hmm. So this is our this is from the main entrance. We come straight down the hall and the the rooms that we just left is to the left. So everything is real close to the handicap right. area. Right. So, so, so if there's if an event in the uh, in the lower level ballroom that we just left, you just come down here with your uh, wheelchair. And even if you just want another way to get into the room, you can go down the steps there. Okay. Otherwise, you can come this way, and as you're walking down, you can feel yes. the decline. <laughs> Please believe me, these bad knees can tell you when, when, when the surface change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can I can definitely tell you that this, yes, yes. So it took a it took a lot of thought to be able to, to keep this room and make it handicap accessible because trying to put an escalator in or uh uh an elevator right. just wasn't gonna work. Right, right, yes. So this brings you right back to the kitchen. Okay, all right. All right. Now we back to the main ball the stage is right in front of us. Right. And had no trouble getting getting to the handicap accessible entrance. Right. Have no trouble, no trouble whatsoever. And and I want to say this: it, 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 this place is well laid out, and so there was a lot of planning. Uh, uh, and 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 I think that the, once people begin to use it, they're going to appreciate uh, the time and the effort that it took to lay this place out to make it convenient for everybody. Because everybody's been wondering what took so long. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully yeah. they can see. Right, right, what right. Took so long. Right. Uh, yeah. And that, that 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 was that was the one of the pressing questions. That's why one of the first questions I asked you was when we were going to have our grand opening. Mm -hmm. And and. It's going to be worth the wait. Sure. I tell sure. everybody it will be worth yeah, the wait. Yeah. And I can see that now. I can see that now. Just by the fact how everything is laid out, how everything is very convenient, that 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 you're not far from nothing. You're right. not and far from anything. Right. If you look anything. along the side here, we have a little track light. So if the main lights are off, and then we're going to have chandeliers in these uh, open boxes here. All right. We already have the company that's doing the chandeliers. So depending on what the lighting needs are that you have, we can also provide with a, provide you with a spotlight that can shine onto the stage. Okay. You know, change the coloring and everything. Okay. Uh, but the other thing that I wanted to show you, if Mark had come out this way, is to just kind of give you a feel for how much property we have to work with and grow. Okay. And we want to also have um, outdoor events. Uh, we want to have like an amphitheater out in the woods where okay. we have outdoor concerts. Sure. We cleaned off around here last year and because there's so much rain here, it just grew back, back up. Sure, there. it will. And you said seven acres? Is that seven what you acres. Said? Okay, all right. Seven acres. All right. So it goes all the way back to those uh, pine trees way back there. Let me, let me, let me say this to you. Uh, uh, let me say this to you. Uh, in the history of Gumbo Live, this is the first. Uh, you are the first person that I have interviewed just for, just for a personal project. Okay. And 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 it's well, it's well, it's well worth it. Uh, when when I was talking to my friend Jerome, I, we got a common friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, man, I said I, I don't do that. I said I don't I don't talk to individuals and promote promote individuals. And I'm still not promoting. Now we're promoting this place. This, right. is a, this is a beautiful place, mm -hmm. and it's a great access to you follow. Mm -hmm. And especially when we get to rolling and we having training, mm -hmm. uh, I, I love that idea mm -hmm. uh, uh, that you have never, you have not forgotten about uh, where you come from right. and the people that's here and what's needed here. Mm -hmm. And, and, and job training is really need. I, I hear a lot of folks talk about it. I hear a lot of folks talk about it. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard anybody with some plans of what, how we're going to do it. Right. And so I, I really appreciate that. Now what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to transition and do part two 
of Gumbo Live. This is the first time we ever had a part two of Gumbo Live. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get as personal as you would allow us to get. Okay. We're going to go, go sit in the, uh, in the break room. In the we break also room. have the kitchen area, too, that I wanted to just get a couple of quick shots Okay, of. okay. We, we can do that. We can do that on our way to the break room. Mm -hmm. We can get some shots of the kitchen mm -hmm. uh, where, where you're going to have com commercial uh, equipment. We'll have, we'll have some commercial equipment there. Uh, right now, we don't have a license to cook okay. uh, in the facility, so we have several companies that we've been talking to here that will be able to cater. So you got to have special license to cook. Right, because you have to have an industrial commercialized kitchen. Right, right. You know, but it wouldn't take much for us because we'll have the sprinkle system. You know, so we're meeting a part of that code now. Anyway. Okay, okay. So it's just a matter of when we're ready to do that. I didn't know that. Yeah, when so, we're so, ready to do that. So, so right now, so right now, you you would allow us to cater. Cater your food in. Okay, all right, okay, yeah, all right. Your food in. If you have a, a uh, early morning event, we can bring in pastries okay. for you. Now, uh, you, you showed Jerome and got some part of this play. <laughs> Bringing his uh, truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the kitchen here. So, when the food is brought in, we have plenty of counter space. Mark, please, please get a picture of these counters. We have plenty of counter space here to put um, um, all of the dishes that we need to serve, and the servers can go either out this door or they can go out this door over here. And if we have all of the rooms rented. You know, we have uh, guests in all of the rooms, then we're going to need a lot of space. And that's where the break room comes in to support the kitchen area. Okay. I, 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 I hope that the camera can really capture the quality of this counter. The, the, mm -hmm. the, I wish we could catch the quality of it. And, and I it's think that. It's not part of a board like we used to see. Right, right, right. It's all handmade. And right. Open. And, and uh, I wish that we could capture this. <laughs> I hope we can capture it. And if you can't get it on camera, please come out and see this. Mm -hmm. Please come out and see this. That, 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 that it was not something that was just thrown together. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is quality, ladies and gentlemen. This is quality. This is heavy. This is heavy. Yeah, this, heavy this is heavy. This is, this is quality. Mm -hmm. This is real up here. This is real. You That's real. It. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, we ain't going to invite them to do all that. And then we have also over here on the other side too, and then we're going to have uh, some tables built over here. So if you're working in the kitchen, you need to sit down and cut up potatoes or whatever you need to do. You'll have the, the adequate space in here to do so. So here we're going to have the ice machine. We already have the ice machine where we're going to get it from and how much ice it would produce for your event. So we have the ice machine here, and then we're going to have the uh, freezer over here. We have the um, dishwasher over here and the commercial uh, uh, sink. Okay. So that's why I was saying we're meeting some of the code right, for right, doing, right. being able to cook. But in order for us to, to cook in here, we probably would have to expand over a little bit more. Okay. Uh, because if you're actually cooking in here, and I've gone into commercial kitchens before, mm -hmm. it's much larger than right, this right, because right. you have to store a lot of food, prep a lot of food, you know, you got the shelf life of food. So you have all of those different concerns and then you have all of those different inspections that you have to be able to meet. So it's not that we won't do it. It's just that when we open right. in January, we won't be able to do it right then. I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. I, and I, I, I'm going to still talk to my friend and see if he, <laughs> if he paid you off. Not to. <laughs> and over here, this is the closet where we'll have, uh, we'll be able to store some of the table and chairs. Okay. Here. Very large closet. Right. And then we also have right here, if it's, if it's cold and rainy like it is now, you come to an event. We have this area here where we can uh, hang your fur coats up. Okay. This is our coat check area. You can hang your, uh, right. hang your coats up in here well, with I, your umbrellas I, in here. I ain't got to come here. <laughs> <laughs> your wife, she can bring this. She can put a make in here. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you bring your make, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we're going to end up here is the, uh, is the break room. All right. And as you can nice. see, the break room has the same uh, cabin, right. cabinetry and as well as the same Real nice, counter. real nice. Now, what are we going to do now, Ms. Forte? We're going to take a little break here for a commercial. Okay. And we're going to cut off our cell phones and everything, and we're going to continue uh, on part two. You're watching Gumbo Live every Thursday night on Channel 97. Uh, we ask that you would tune in. We have a very special, very special guest tonight. And thank you for watching this is L.C. Green and Gumbo Live.